Bathroom is a very private zone where the person definitely cleans up, has some me personal time and enjoys the ambience. So the decor of the bathroom should be done according to the choice of the person, of the person or people who are going to use the washroom. The must take ceramic wear are definitely the WC and a wash basin and a bathing area. Nowadays lots of designer ceramic wear, designer ceramic wear are available. Apart from these, now uh, recently nowadays you have different showers, you have different cubicle, bathing cubicles, you have uh, tubs with jacuzzis and you have sauna steam rooms, a very compact ones also which can be accommodated in not too big a washroom as well. So uh, just look at the budget of the client or look just look at your budget and so that you can add whatever of these fancy fittings which you want. For utility, definitely you need to have a bathroom vanity which generally goes under the wash basin under the sink area. Uh, in case the space allows, you can add some tall cabinets along with the uh, under counter cabinets. These cabinets are of great use, great utility I tell you. Even if you know, you're not able to get a lot of depth of these cabinets, even a 6 inches deep cabinet, a 1 foot width types also is works like magic. Like you can put lots of toiletries and things into it. Uh, some open shelves can also be added where uh, some perfumes or some of the artif articles and artifacts sometimes fresh flowers or green plants they can be placed uh, also your uh, towels or napkins can be rolled and kept in a very decorative manner you, that is a, a very utilitarian option as well with the walls which are not the load bearing areas niches can be created into the wall and then the niches can be highlighted with some light and different colored tiles as well so these niches they can further hold some artifact or some nice toiletry article as well so uh, care needs to be taken to add this at the time of planning stage itself because light and light plays an important role in the washroom generally there is a light on top of the mirror so that your face lit lights up and you are able to clean up properly or let us say the shave, do the shaving or to put on the makeup uh, many a times there are some makeup lights in case it is uh, just a girl's washroom you can put makeup lights as well which light up the entire face from all the angles and putting makeup is becomes a pleasure but it, it, it is no more a task apart from this the flooring should be kept in anti-skid format uh, so nowadays even anti-skid tiles are available it prevents the chances of slipping and some accidents happening since it is a water area but it, it is supposed to be a wet area in bigger washrooms people also take wardrobes into the washroom area wardrobe itself can be done in in sliding mirror format so that it is a huge mirror and uh, the mirror definitely reflects and makes the space look much bigger and the sliders uh, does not obstruct the frontal area so it is an excellent idea to take a slider uh, shutter wardrobe in in case you are planning to take uh, the wardrobe into the washroom also we suggest WPC which is wood polymer composite that is a waterproof board to make the bathroom vanities or the uh, in case you are having wardrobes into the bathroom so we generally prefer giving it in WPC and in case the shutters you are taking in glass so then the entire wardrobe becomes absolutely waterproof because no wood is being used neither in the cabinet nor in the shutters 
so it will last you forever and ever light is also very important in the bathroom because it is comparatively a smaller zone smaller area and divided into different utility zones the light in the niches they are more decorative uh, but the lights in the bathing cubicle and the lights above the mirror they are of utility you can also add ambient lights or music also this needs to be thought about at the time of uh, planning itself otherwise nowadays the jacuzzis and the steam baths they come with their own music you just need to provide a powerpoint initially for that the ambience the color theme needs to be as per the bedroom the same feel the same theme should continue in case you've opted for an oriental theme so the similar tiles need to be echoed into the bathroom in case you've taken an industrial look so the um, tap showers etc need to be of that metallic look in case you opted for a traditional feel in the bedroom so the wash basins and the tiles need to be of a traditional theme they uh, and the artifacts and also should follow the similar theme i hope Uh, this video has been a little educational and you must have picked up some ideas so when you are doing up your own home your washroom so these might these tips might come in handy thanks for watching the video